hey, did somebody actually train a chicken how to play pool? Or are we looking at another big, fat Kentucky Fried Chicken fake? I've got the answer to that one, plus the answers to a whole bunch of crazy photos and videos you guys sent in. Like this photo claiming to show a human with a seven inch tail, a picture of what looks like an orangutan taking a dog for a walk, and a video claiming to show a massive skateboarding suicide bomber fail. And that doesn't even include the big story, which is about a video that claims to show a kid being attacked by a great white shark. This show is gonna take a bite out of any fakers we find, so don't go away. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, there's a lot of shocking videos out there claiming to show people being attacked by sharks. Just the thought of these vicious undersea monsters chomping into you with their razor sharp teeth is enough to give anybody the heebie-jeebies. And if you've ever seen the movie Jaws or watched any of those Shark Week shows on the Discovery Channel, you could be excused for feeling a little nervous about going into the ocean. But as we all know, a lot of these so-called shark attack videos turn out to be fake. Like this famous shark attack video from Australia. Remember that one? That's the one where the guy goes swimming and finds himself face to face with a giant great white. Not only did it turn out to be a fake, but made by a clever ad agency as well. That's why when this new shark attack video showed up on my inbox, I was like, hmm, I think we've seen this movie before. The video was first sent in by Hunter Jolly who asked, hey Bill, is this real or fake? Hunter, I think we're gonna have to take a very close look at this one to find out whether it's a real shark attack video or just another fish story with teeth. The video Hunter sent in led us to a YouTube channel called Spearfishing Reviews. This channel posted the video in January of 2017. It starts out with what looks like a 12 year old kid taking a selfie with a GoPro mounted on a spear gun. A little over a minute into the video, we see a sudden commotion and hear some noises, but it's not clear what's going on. Then after a few seconds, we see the alleged shark come back into frame, this time apparently bumping right into the spear gun. The shark's distinctive markings seem to indicate a great white, one of the most terrifying Denzians of the deep. Now, one of the ways I was able to determine the Australian video was a fake was because the shark in the video was actually two sharks with totally different markings. But in this video, we only get to see the shark once, so unfortunately, that's kind of a dead end. We also checked to make sure the color of the water didn't change when the shark came into view. That's always a sign that the video of the human and the video of the shark are two different videos. Here's a better example of that little giveaway. Hey, I'm no expert, but something seems off here. Not only is the color funky, but is it me or does that water look unusually murky? Perhaps it's intentionally murky to help cover up some special effects. At this point, I decided the best way to get to the truth is just call Spear Fishing Reviews and see what they had to say. And that, my friends, is how I came up with this, the official answer. But if you watch this show even a couple of times, you know I can't show you what's in here. You gotta show me what's going on up there first, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. A third way to go is just to vote right up here. I mean, how cool is that? You ready? Go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few minutes, I'm gonna be revealing what's in the old envelope right here. But first, I wanna show you a couple other crazy things you guys sent in this week. First, we have this rather disturbing image claiming to show a person with a full-grown tail. It was sent in by Ajith Laser, who said, no way this is real. Well, Ajith, you could be right about that, but actually you're not, because it's real. An 18-year-old boy living in India had this tail his whole life because his parents thought it was a good luck charm. He kept it hidden inside his clothes so other kids wouldn't see it and make fun of him. But it kept growing and growing until it was seven inches or about 18 centimeters long. Finally, it became so painful and difficult to live with that he disobeyed his parents and had it surgically removed. There have been other cases of humans with tails, but this one is believed to have been the longest human tail 
on record. So listen up kids, always do what your parents tell you, except when they tell you to keep your tail for good luck. In that case, Bill's channel gives you a pass to run to the nearest hospital and get it taken off. Next, we have this photo sent in by Agar King, who wants to know what that ape creature is on the left, and if it really is walking that dog. Well, Agar, if you were that dog, would you let some ape monkey around with you like that? I think you would, because it's actually real. Soraya the orangutan and Roscoe the dog live together at the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species, also known as tigers, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Orangutans are very kind and generous creatures, so when a dog wandered onto the Institute grounds one day, Soraya ran to the rescue. Soraya fed the dog some of his food and they started playing together. Ever since then, they've been the best of friends. They even made an appearance in a National Geographic video together. Next up, we have this crazy video of what looks like a suicide bomber falling off his skateboard, and then this happened. The video was sent in by my good friend Kaito, who asks, did that guy really blow up? Well, Kaito, if anybody was that stupid to get on a skateboard with a suicide vest, well, they gotta be a candidate for the next Dumb Ways to Die video, right? But thanks to Facebook reader Nagdima and Marcy Die, we now have the original video without the explosion. Uh-huh. Well, you know what that means. It means that this video is... You ready? Say it with me. So, so fake, fake! It's, it's funny. funny! Okay, guys, what do you say we get back to the big story and find out what the official answer is? Are you ready? I know I am. I want to know whether that's a real shark attack or just some other Jaws wannabe. You ready? All right, here we go. The video claiming to show a kid having a terrifying underwater encounter with a great white shark has been carefully researched and examined. Well, it's good if you examine something while you're researching it, because otherwise you might not have the real answer. Anyway, I'm just making fun. Here we go. Based on all the information collected, we have reached a decision. And the decision is... Mm -hmm. Are you ready? All right. 100%, without a doubt, and beyond any question, real. Oh, you didn't expect that, huh? I didn't expect it either. I was, I was sure that thing was gonna be a fake. But hey, if you're thinking about clicking away right now, I wouldn't do that. Because if you do that, you're not gonna be able to get the lowdown on that chicken playing pool, remember that one? And you're not gonna get some of the fascinating details behind this shark attack video. Listen to this. Uh, Bill, I cannot show you. Uh, this is a real, real video, and this happens a lot in spearfishing. This is Iris, the guy who posted that video and runs the Spearfish Reviews channel here on YouTube. Now, according to Iris, this particular video was recorded by a young man named Tyler McQuillan near Santa Barbara, California. Uh, he was uh, spearfishing uh, in the coast of uh, California, uh, looking for something uh, to spear. In a moment, this great shark went behind him and. Uh, he had attacked his fin. Mr. McQuillan lost a fin in the encounter, suffered a small injury to his foot, and ended up on a lot of news shows. McQuillan is being treated at a hospital for a minor foot injury. He says researchers have told him the great white was not looking for food, but instead it was being territorial and confused him with another shark. Now, as it turns out, Tyler is actually 22 years old, despite looking much younger when we first see him in the video. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this video. I'm going to be telling you the answer to that crazy chicken playing pool video in just a second. But first, I want to send out a big thanks to all you guys who are sending in those pictures and videos every week. I also want to send a big thanks out to my friend Eris at the Spearfish Reviews channel here on YouTube. I'm going to be leaving links to his channel, the original video, and some of the news stories so you can check them all out, okay? And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because, honestly, the only thing that's going to do is drive me crazy! See you next time. Now, about that pool playing chicken video. Guys, I guess it's a thing on the internet now to post videos of chickens doing ridiculous things, but seriously, whoever made this bird brain video really laid an egg. Our special effects experts took one look at this thing and just cackled. 
the hand is actually edited into a stop motion video that was made separately. Notice how odd the action is on the balls as they go across the table. That's because the filmmaker recorded the balls frame by frame and moved them with his own hands between shots. Bill's channel official verdict? It's a cock-a-doodle fake.